what's up divas welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl natasha and today's video is going to be a full get ready with me hair makeup and outfit so today i'm going to a day party and i'm gonna take you guys along with me and i said let's get on here and review this hair by xrs beauty and this clear lace that they have come out with is just giving all giving all types of light so yes let's get into this video and hope you guys stick around if you like what you see make sure you click that subscribe button and that like thumbs up button and hit that notification bell so you can see when your girl posts her next video and let's get into it your skin just like pearls You're back against the world I never trade you for anybody else eh? As you already know, we're gonna be doing this Get Ready With Me And we're gonna start with another big review for this XRS or Chris However you wanna pronounce it Um, wig that I ordered And I'm just gonna unbox it with you on camera So, as I showed you, this is the box that comes in And then it comes with the wig. I'll take that out and show you a strap. Um, what's these called? These things right here. Can't remember what they're called right now. And we cap. Can you see? Yeah, we cap. Another comb. These combs come in candy and handy. I don't know what I did with my Kim and why I'm getting a Christmas um little bandana thing. I don't know because it's definitely July. Wow, Natasha. It's definitely not July. It's only me. So I showed you everything out of the box. Now I'm just going to get into this here. And I already have one of these um, weeds, but it's long. So I wanted a shorter version. I didn't feel like cutting it. And the um, lace is really, really good. So, the clear lace. And straight out of the box, she is given scalp. Can I say scalp? Like, the really on point when it comes to um, the knots already coming bleached. So, this is what it comes like straight out of the box. I got 12 inches. And... Deep wave, I think that's what it was, but I'll link the wig to the bottom. Oh, six, 16 inches, sorry, 150% density. I will link these specs for it down in the description, bo description box because I can't remember exactly what it was in terms of the type of hair. I know it wasn't straight, I know that much. But the inside is given 360. <laughs> so I have two clips here in the front. Um, one just to the back of the lace. And then one all the way to the back of your head. And then you have your two adjustable straps to the back. Um, my head is very small. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just adjust the straps in the back because I know it's going to be too big for me. So let's see initially what this looks like. I don't know if I'm going to use the elastic band. Not sure. But I do want it to fit snug so we'll see. And if you see me looking down it's because my mirror is right in front of me. So yeah. Guys, like, it really be giving scalp. Just pay the extra coin. Just pay the extra coin because they don't, they don't disappoint ever. Can you see that? Can, can you see that? Like, she giving scalp already. You need a good pair of scissors to trim up that lace and stuff. And to cut the cap and these scissors just not given what they're supposed to give. So first things first, I'm going to take my, I have like this white eyeliner 
and I'm just going to mark where I want that initial cut to be on both sides so I do flip it like that put that initial one right ow these clips I put that initial mark and then I'm going to just flip it inside out like this. Throw this back on. See how she's looking. Yep. Alright, just going to use some of this wax stick just to get the flyaways out of the way. So I think I'm not gonna do ball cap method. We're not doing ball cap method. Change of plans, change of plans. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already moisturize my face for my makeup. Because I like to do that in advance as well when I know I'm gonna be putting on makeup. So I'm going to now just go ahead and prep my skin. And for that I'm gonna be using my good old faithful Alka J help me down adhesive skin guard so a little bit of that on cotton so I actually clean twice and I think I'm going to do it's not that hot outside today so I think I'm gonna do about hmm, three layers depending on the humidity sometimes I do four or five because she gets quite humid her so and i would um just use my i got to be spray but it doesn't last long enough for me and with me working out i need something that has a stronger hold so i actually need glue but this doesn't pull out my hair so that's why I'm fine with using it. Some people say that it pulls their hair out, but we go over here, baby. All right. lay this week honey oh i said i was gonna put the elastic band on because it still felt a little bit loose so let me go ahead and use that let's take some of this here out of the way
Let that sit for a few seconds and just melt, baby, melt. Alrighty, it's been about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off that. Uh, it's still pretty wet. Let me see if I can. Dry it down. You saw it just already. Now we can go in and cut this off, baby, because she already given scalp. So, just gonna use this comb and shimmy it on the hairline a little bit to lift up anything that was melted. So, let's get into this cut. As you can see, I'm just cutting it like not in a straight line, so it doesn't look like it's going straight across my face. Now, I do have some glue, a little bit of glue right here and right here in this area. So what I'm going to do is get my... Um, my Arica J adhesive remover. It's got a little bit of oil in it, so I'm gonna put it here on a Q-tip. Like that. And then I'm just gonna take my time and remove any adhesive that would be on my skin. other side isn't too too bad over her actually don't see much of anything all right I'm gonna go ahead and see what I want to do with these edges because I don't like too much edges out so let me just see what I can create because this is given scalp don't worry about that harsh line when you first cut it that's what it looks like but let me see if i could get a little bit of baby hairs in here And to lay my baby hairs, I'm gonna use this Go Glueless Go Glueless um, lace in place foam gel, and this is by True Match. So a little bit on my fingers, like so. I'm wearing this cute 
yellow dress from Zara. So, um, yes, I think it's a really cute, cute dress. Alright, that's that. I will be doing some sideburns. Should I? Eh, kind of don't feel like it. I'm just going to do that. And now I'm going to... Because she is pretty good. Yes, let me just do a little bit more here. real quick then we're gonna get into this hair hmm. I think I want to side part oh, I don't know what that was life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little all things must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no no not yet whoa no not yet whoa no no not yet whoa i'm afraid i'll end up nowhere they keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I'll save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa But I'm not gonna wake up So here is a beat. So now I'm just going to quickly do my face. I got 20 minutes. And yes, it's gonna be because I'm wearing yellow. I think I'm just gonna do something neutral on the eye. So I'll be using this nudes of New York Maybelline palette. I'm gonna go ahead and with this. It's got a lot of nice 
neutrals for dark skin tones so yes let's get into it i'm gonna use my good old faithful cover fx she slays me every time oh because i already moisturized my face and i know i'm gonna be partying let me just go into my makeup my part of sorry my satin powder and i'm gonna be using this um laura mercier in medium deep and i got this technique from um jackie Ina, where she sets her moisturizer oh i didn't prime okay well we're past that stage no i should have primed first i think it just gives your makeup something to hold on to is cover fx and and tan i don't think they carry this no more not sure quite why they dropped it because when i say she's my shape ah! <laughs> she been walking ass she a whole bunch of ass she i don't know why my lighting is so off today to me it just seems extremely bright but hey as you can see me so i have very bad um smile lines so i try not to put any foundation whatsoever on my smile lines i just um blend it out and then what i was left on the brush i put in that area and my um neck will be out so don't neglect the neck and i think i've said it multiple times that i'm a nurse so i do have some hyperpigmentation from some old pimples that um vent all right so now we're gonna go in with this radiant cream top not sorry nars radiant creamy concealer in dark one um dark one coffee and put that in my inner tear dark inner eye sorry and then older listen I've been just hanging out here lately, enjoying myself. Country's open back up, um, and I need to get out the house because I work a whole lot. I caught back on some of my shifts just so that I can have some me time. Cause I did end up getting sick a couple weeks ago, and I honestly think it's because um. I've been working a lot and not do so many extra shifts. Well, I say so many, like three. So yeah, I love that. Blends out well. And yeah, I'm just going to, you know, enjoy myself and not work so, so much to the point where my immune system just gets shot. So now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 2 Caramel. And I like a little bit of a lighter highlight so that's why I go in with this shade that's like four shades lighter um it does blend out really really good so that's why I don't mind using it She does blend out so nicely like every time every time now I use two different um contour shades I contour my nose with this Bobbi Brown and cool espresso and then I never contour my nose with this one 
and then I contour my cheeks with this Fenty Beauty in Ebony. I used to have a different shade of Fenty Beauty um contour stick, but it wasn't dark enough for me. So I switched to Ebony and I find that I like it better. So we're going to stick with that. My sister told me that food starts being served at 1. So I'm going back in with that Laura Mercier and medium deep. And I'm just going to set my under eye. And I'm not going to bake with this one because it's my skin tone. I'm just going to um, blend it right out. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty and Banana Bread. I can't remember who recommended this to me. I wanna say it was, um, not re recommended it to me, but I was watching their vlog. I wanna say it was Arnel Arn, Armin. Now this one I do bake with, cause it's translucent. I bake with this one under my eye. Then it just helps with any fallout. Sis wants her face to be sitting today. Okay. I'm going to set my contour. This is out. It's in sketch. They're blush in blush in sketch. Max blush in sketch. They don't um have it no more. And I can't remember the name of the correct one that they've replaced it with. So I'll be sure to just um list it in the description box for you guys for sure. Because I live by this one. I've never tried another one. I've only used this MAC to set my arm contour, to be honest. And that's like since I started makeup. So <laughs> If you know you know that's been a while now I'm going to go in with um, max studio fix press powder in NW 50 and I'm going to brush that over my face leaving the under eye as much as possible as you see I brush them off but it's still there um and then i'm going to go in with la girls just blushing and blush up these cheeks a little bit make them a little bit rosy so i like a little color i mean i like a little blush me and blush are basty all right, so in this palette, I'm going to go into this um, Originator color. This one right here called Originator. And put that on my lid first. The inner part. And then I'm going to go in with this color believer this dark bronze hair called believer i'm gonna go in with that one next okay now i'm going to put use um this color here explorer this one right here explorer and i'm just gonna blend out 
that as my transition color it's like a nice um reddish brown it shows up nice on me so and then to deepen up that outer V I'm gonna go in with this color here Voyager oops Voyager just gonna darken up that outer V just a tad bit Now let's get into these lashes and I'm going to just brush off my face. Mm. I'm going to blush, I'm sorry, highlight with this Fenty Beauty Highlighter um, Kilowatts Palette. And I'm going to use Hustler Baby, because that's my favorite. Mac Chestnut is always for the win when it comes to lining my lips. I'm going to have a nude lip today. This matte liquid lipstick by um, Too Faced. I can't remember the shade. But I'll let you know. Let me take this down. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Don't embarrass me on camera either. Oof. A little bit of glue there looking a little bit crusty, but we're gonna fix her up. Come it out a little bit because oopsie curls are getting all caught up in it. Now let's blend in this hairline and I'm just going to use what I was left on my um, brush. And blend that out around my hairline. Girl. Giving me all types of cute. Let me spray my face now. Fan of the face. And just press that into my skin. And then I'm going to go in with this brown in my under eye. I'm going to use Globe Trotter from this palette, the same palette. I'm going to use this one here, Globe Trotter. And that on my lower lash line. Before I go in with um, some black liner. 
and for my black liner I'm going to be using this Revlon color stay I like it it's nice and dark I'm going to K Perversion Perversion Mascara and I'm just going to lightly coat my lashes before I put on my falsies. And I do this step after I um set my makeup because sometimes you blink it will transfer. All right. And I'm going to go in with um this Fenty Beauty Gloss in Sweet Moth. And just gloss up these lips, baby. I'm gonna set my eyebrows now with this um, clear brow gel by Anastasia. lashes on and let's figure out what's gonna be happening with this here put my clothes on and get out the door baby let's see I'm just gonna use my hands for now That wraps up this video guys it is 2 14 so I need to get out the door and yes really impressed oh. really impressed on this hair how it came out the sheen is so nice let's get into this lace let me show you let me show you the lace guys. so it's really given scalp so nice so clear very very thin just coming out of my scalp love it love it love it this came out so nice i love the hair very nice gorgeous sheen and yes let's put some clothes on now all right so this is the final look hope you all enjoyed it I really really like this XRS Beauty here. It's just so easy to work with, so easy to install. And like I said, I'm not a professional. So it is something that you're gonna have to take get used to putting on a wig, period, or a lace front, I should say. Right, so putting on wigs is something that you will have to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, like oh this is what you get this is the results that you get okay so when i say i'm in love with this hair so easy curls nicely holds a curl the sheen on this is just gorgeous i didn't co-wash it because i didn't have the time and i also wanted to do an unboxing on youtube for you guys so that's why i didn't give it a co-wash either but i really hope you guys like this um install and this got ready with me and let me go put my clothes on and get out the door because my sister's waiting for me see you guys when i get back all right, so this is the final look. I'm wearing this dress that I got on my um, New York vlog. I went to Zara and I picked up this cute little yellow shift dress. And when I say she's giving cute, she's giving cute shoes off. Um, I think I'm in DSW, but they are um, from JLo's line. So they're like this goldish yellow and so i think it ties in nice with the dress this purse i picked up yesterday from um a friend's store here on island i will take it down in the description box but it goes nicely with the dress as well and yes guys she's giving looks she cute all right talk to you guys in a bit my sister's waiting for me see you in the meantime bye
guys to my Mayday TD day party, right? I named him Girl Scott I'm gonna put some food in her system before she starts getting it in because last night was a rough night. I ain't get to listen. I got some right, pasta, some veggies. I know what type of corn this is, but somebody's corn. And then these little braggers, like a fish and this side, um, I think there's brisket, I think. So you can see, y'all, this definitely your girl Hermie. And hopefully, I don't get a copyright because the DJ is talking right now. But 15 minutes, thank you very much. The girl needs to kill her loins before she gets in. So we're her, and I'm gonna eat. Hey! Hey! 
Come on.